Hello everybody, I am the Movie Doll and welcome to my playhouse. Today I am reviewing Warm Bodies. No, it's not a porno. It's a zombie romance starring Nicholas Holt and Teresa Palmer, financed by the same studio who gave the world the Twilight Saga. And most of my male audience is turning off the review now. For those of you who stayed, this movie actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was far from engaging. The movie is narrated by the zombie boy, played by Nicholas Holt, who feels totally out of place in the world since he has no memory of his life as a human being. I understand including the voiceover in the movie since the character doesn't really talk much, he's a zombie, but I think it would have been better if they had just relied on the physical comedy to tell the story, kind of like in Edward Scissorhands. And the visuals for this supposedly post-apocalyptic world are just totally grey and uninteresting. I give this movie a little bit of credit for the fact that it has a female lead who is supposedly a fighter and can take care of herself. But she's so girly and the zombies beat her so easily that it's hard to say she's believable. The only person more implausible, sadly, is John Malkovich as her father, because he shows no emotion whatsoever in this performance, even when he sees his daughter after he thinks that she's been killed by the zombies. The cliches in the writing are so obvious for this zombie romance that I'm not even going to bother getting into them. The story was pretty boring, the acting was not much better, and this genre has just been so beaten to death in recent years that I think it needs a rest. So what's the final verdict? Two out of five. I think I'm being generous. I'm the Movie Doll, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and feel free to subscribe. See you next week.